This is definitely Kate's floor. The hospitals always freak me out. I, I hear you. But imagine how Kate feels. I'm so glad I, I get to see her again. I hope it's not too weird for her. No, she'll be stoked to see you. Who wouldn't be? This be it. I'm a little nervous. Just go in there and be your friend. I'll wait out here so you can chill by yourselves. I was a total dick for blowing a fuse when you answered Kate's call the other day. Good thing you ignored me. I had no idea what shit she was going through. And you saved her. Like me. I'm sorry. Thanks, Chloe. But don't be sorry. We're all on the same team. Team Max. Let Kate know we're gonna string Nathan up by his balls then. Oh yes, <laughs> I'm on it. Max! Oh, Kate. I thought I'd never see you again. I feel so ridiculous. I'm so sorry. Kate, listen to me. You have nothing to be sorry about. Other people do. You do not know how happy I am to see you. You look awesome. Is it a stupid question if I ask how you're doing? Now that you're here, I'm doing even better. I'm so grateful to you for coming up to the roof to talk me down. Max, I felt so lost and alone. When I saw how much you cared, how hard you were trying, you made me realize I wasn't alone. Thank you. Kate, there are so many people who love you and want to help you. I know. You should see all the letters and postcards. I gave most of the flowers to other patients here because they need them more than me. I'm keeping the balloons, though. One of the nurses gave me some pen and paper so I could do some drawings. I love your illustrations. They got kind of dark there for a while. But I have an idea for a new children's book about bullying. I was thinking of having some photographs in there too. I hope that's a subtle hint that you'll let me take the photographs for the book. Was that subtle? You better take the pictures, Max. I'm going to be here for another day until my family comes out to visit. How are they treating you? Like they need to protect me forever. They're so upset. And I know they feel guilty, even though they didn't do anything. I was surprised how many students from Blackwell wrote me. Daniel, Mr. Jefferson, even Victoria wrote me a very sweet note. And I believe she was being real. Me too. I'm glad you believe again, Kate. I'm working on it, Max. I just pray I can get this drawing right. It's amazing to just sit here quiet with Kate again. I don't think I'll ever know how much destiny I'm changing. But whoever said we only have a single fate? Oh, time travel is such a mindfuck. I love Kate's happy rainbow flock. Good to see that Kate is still working on her book report. Thank you, sisters. You really saved Kate. Principal Wells knows how to step it up when he wants to. That is so sweet. Even Victoria signed. But not Nathan. Victoria Chase might be queen bitch, but 
She's not evil. I don't think get well is quite apropos. Those are nice flowers. And from Taylor? Wow, props to her. If this gets Kate through the night, so be it. That is so good to know that Kate is drawing again. Kate, it is so good to hang out with you again. Max, I owe you so much. And I can tell you want to talk to me about something. I saw Victoria's letter. How does that make you feel? Max, I know Victoria can be a... Uh... Not nice. But I do believe in forgiveness and redemption. I might be naive, but... I feel her struggle. Me too. I could have taken a picture of her covered in paint, but I didn't, and... We had a genuine moment. We all have our moments. Why do you think she acts so mean? She's insecure. If you're comfortable with yourself, you don't need to act superior. Victoria doesn't look like she has much to be insecure about. If anybody could make Victoria see the light, it would be Kate Marsh. No. I think it will take more than that, Max. I want you to know I'm this close to getting all the info I need about Nathan. Nathan Prescott has to pay for what he did. And we have to stop him from hurting anybody else. Well, I did get his ass suspended, so that might be a start. You did? Oh, right on, Max. I love how fearless you are. So what is going on with him now? I think his family is totally protecting him. Or worse. I never say this about people, but Max, there's something evil about the Prescotts. They have something to do with death. We're going to stop him. I just have to find Nathan's room number, get inside, and get the clues I need. Max, please let me help. I can get the number, and I'll text it to you, okay? Of course, Kate. I can't do this without you. Now it's time for Nathan to watch out for us. I always want to talk to you. We missed our tea session this week. That was so not cool. We need to plan, like, a tea shop tour of Portland. Oh, yes. And you could bring Warren along, too. No boys allowed. <laughs> you are funny, Max. And right. I have to get back to our uh, mission. You don't know how much it means to see you again. I do. That's why I love you, Max. Thanks for taking care of my bunny. Tell Alice I'll see her soon. Well, how is she? She's still Kate Marsh. Thank God. I'm glad we came to see her. Thanks for coming with me. Now let's go pay a visit to Nathan Prescott. That little prick is not going to be glad when he sees us. Hey, Max. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yeah? Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for this school. It's a long story. And actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. 
I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party, so I hope you'll be there to celebrate, even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. I feel like a total loser, but it's been a hard week to focus. No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. And nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Hot for teacher. Gross! You are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. One photo. For posterity. Makes me mad. How are you doing, Max? Been a tough week. I know. Yes, it has, Samuel. How are you? Sad and confused, like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. I definitely have questions about what's happening to the animals in Arcadia Bay. Oh, many do. These poor creatures have no choice in what happens to them. Well, I'm glad to see your squirrels are still healthy and happy on the campus. Me too. If something happened to them... Oh... Not as long as you're here to take care of them, Samuel. The only thing that calms them is food. <laughs> Lots of food. Which reminds me th that I have to feed them now. Climate change isn't real my ass. I think everything is changing here. As a scientist, I'm fascinated. As Get Michelle that Wayne, food in your belly. Very worried. Arcadia Bay is scared too. Look at the weather. And the animals. Not to mention poor Kate Marsh. We all need to look out for each other these days. Sorry to bother you again, Samuel. There's no bother here, Max. More questions than answers. Samuel is always here to talk. Have you seen Nathan Prescott around? That would be hard since he was suspended. You don't sound sad, Samuel. Nathan hurts people. The end. What do you really know about him? Not enough to help you, Max. I truly wish I could. I see what you're doing. Do you ever talk with David Madsen? He talks to me. I listen. That's how David operates. He sees things, not people. But I, I think he sees you, Max. Why do you say that? Because you both see with cameras i think you have better vision than both of us <laughs> no max I, I just look at everything from a different angle 
I actually just talked to Kate Marsh in the hospital. She's doing so much better. Because of you, Max. That was quite a rescue. It could have gone either way. Samuel, do you think that we each have a destiny? Yes, I, I do, Max. In many different lifetimes, of course. Kate Marsh believed in something different, so... That's her destiny. I believe you. Kate just needed some more helpful spirits like her friend Max. I hope she finds them now. I still have a million questions about what's happening to Arcadia Bay. That must be why Miss Gant says you're one of her favorite students at Blackwell. Even though Miss Grant likes me, I have zero science skills to explain that eclipse. As I was just saying to her, that's because science has no explanation. Well, no offense to Miss Grant here, but this is just the beginning. Beginning of what? Oh, I, I don't believe anything ever ends. Especially time. That's why I can sense something bigger is coming to Arcadia Bay. And Max, I don't like it at all. I keep thinking that Rachel Amber has a few answers. If we can find her. If Rachel wants to be found. That's the real secret. Where is she? If anybody knows, it will be you. My dreams tell me that. But... Max, all I can tell you is to stay on your path and you'll find what you're looking for. Rachel Amber is waiting too. I'd rather be in her class than the Vortex Club. Yes, you would. Rachel saw right through them. She's not the only one. Nobody should be trapped in the Vortex Club. Get out now, Max, while time is on your side. I definitely have questions about what's happening to the animals in Arcadia Bay. Oh. How can anybody explain all those poor beached whales? My dad was a fisherman, and he'd take me out to hear the whales sing. Now they... they just cry. They're not alone these days. I feel so powerless. Oh, no. You're the opposite of powerless, Max. You think so, Samuel? You and Arcadia Bay are connected by time and tide. So, next time I have a question, I'm coming to you. What do you think about all those dying birds? Samuel had to bury dozens near the Tabanga. Is that cool with the Tabanga? We'll find out if the souls of the bird move on. Not that we can prove it. It's so ominous. Unless it's fate, then it doesn't matter. I'm sorry. I better get going now. Now, who can I ask? Hello, Max. Thank Hi, Miss Grant. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. I'm still bragging about you and the other students making Blackwell surveillance free. I was looking for Nathan Prescott, and I thought he might be in your class. Mr. Prescott has no class at all after his suspension. I didn't think you were friends. You probably know him better. I've tried. Nathan is a Prescott, and with that comes a lot of baggage. Too much for one teenager. This week was the proof. Principal Wells did the right thing. I know. Nathan needs real help. Yes, he does, Max. I did try once, but Mr. Prescott didn't appreciate my help. I did see Nathan leaving the campus looking angrier than usual, so maybe it's good you haven't found him. I was hoping you could explain some of these crazy things happening in Arcadia Bay. If I could, I'd be collecting my Nobel Prize in science today. I haven't been able to wrap my mind around that eclipse 
much less the snow in Wales. There must be a scientific explanation, right? When my friends at NASA tell me they can't explain a solar eclipse without a single theory as to how or why, maybe it's time to get worried. Like they are. I am worried about reality. I feel like it's changing right in front of us. You and Samuel both. We were talking about that before you came over. Our planet is changing, but it's not mystic. It's erosion. You think that's why all these animals are dying here? Well, our shoreline has been receding. Not to mention the daily contamination of the ocean. That's all you need to kill off sea and wildlife here. Unless you know something I don't. What about wormholes and chaos theory? I like time travel stuff. The only wormholes in Arcadia Bay are underground. And chaos theory is just that. But if this is about time travel, sign me up. Would you really change time? Not after reading that Bradbury story, A Sound of Thunder. I won't give it away, but it involves dinosaurs and butterflies. Time is like a thread, Max. One tug and it all can unravel. I don't think surveillance would have helped Kate Marsh. Who needs surveillance when we have Maxine Caulfield? You did a wonderful thing, and now we have to make sure Kate gets the help she needs. Do you need to talk to a counselor? Blackwell Academy needs the help. There's something terrible going on here. You see it, right? This week hasn't been Blackwell's finest hour. But me and some faculty members won't rest until all the students here feel safe, not bullied. Kate was drugged at the Vortex Club party and bullied by them until she ended up on the roof. How do you stop that? Shut down that damn Vortex Club for a start. I don't mean to get riled up, but that party should have been postponed. It's extremely tasteless given what happened with Kate. Do the Prescotts have anything to do with the Vortex Club? I mean, they don't get all their money from car washes. No, they don't. But membership has its privileges. Especially when your father is Blackwell's biggest sponsor. This elitist nonsense has no place here. You're right. I, I just wish this could be the school that I dreamed about before I came here. I hear you, Max. I love seeing you and Warren and all my students at your best here. But you're all too young to be so cynical. But you truly give me hope. I'm sorry, Miss Grant. I, I have to get going. I I'll see you later. It's always good talking to you, Max. Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. Enjoy the big game, Zachary. I hope it's not the last. That's so ironic that Warren asked- Hey, Brooke. How are you? I'm here as usual. By the way, Thanks for helping Kate down. Are you okay? I, I can't get my limited brain around that eclipse and the beached whales. I was hoping the science department had some ideas. Warren and I are supposed to compare notes and theories this weekend. Oh, he asked you? You know, science geeks stick together. But honestly, neither of us can explain this phenomenon. It's pretty scary. I need to find Nathan. Have you seen him around? Ask Warren. I mean, you're going to the movies with him and everything. Come on, Brooke. Don't be that way. Nathan was suspended, but he should still be on campus. Warren's not good enough for you? Okay. I saw Nathan pissed and walking off campus earlier. Good luck getting that date, Max. I might feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. Miss Grant finally gave up and let me fly her again. But you're going to the drive-in with Warren, so you don't have time to fly my drone. Really? I can't fly your drone because I'm going to see ape movies with Warren? You are perceptive, Max. Now, excuse me. My drone needs me. That's so ironic that Warren asked Max to the drive-in.
Wait till the game. We have to crush the Razorbacks. Principal Wells was so loaded the other night here. Hey, Daniel. You look bummed out. Are you alright? Hola, Max. I just figured out that my photos basically suck. I'm a wannabe artist. You're not here to be a photographer. That's my gig. Look at that sketch you did of me. Incredible. And that's your art. Your gift. <sighs> I do feel better now. You are good, Max. By the way, have you seen Nathan Prescott? Oh, I heard a rumor he's actually suspended. Yeah, but he's still gotta be on campus. That explains why he looked so pissed off when I saw him leaving campus a few moments ago. Have you talked to anybody about what happened with Kate? I don't talk to anyone, Max. But I did actually have a nice talk with Brooke. She couldn't stop talking about how brave you were on that roof. I don't think doing the right thing is brave, but I appreciate what she means. The most important thing is that Kate gets better and gets justice. I hear that, Max. She's the sweetest, most genuine person I've ever met. I don't mind getting picked on by Blackwell bro holes, but don't fuck with Kate. I like this revolutionary Daniel DaCosta. Only if I can start the revolution from my sketchbook, Max. Are you going to the end of the world party tonight? It will be if I go, man. People here push me into lockers, not dance floors. That's exactly why you should go to that party. We have to stand up to these Blackwell bullies for Kate. You won't be alone, Daniel. Not with you to back me up, Max. Oh, damn it. I will go to the party like it is the end of the world. Okay, maybe I won't go, but... No, I won't do that, but... I'll go. Let's talk later. Okay, Daniel? Justin, it's been so long since I've seen you. I can tell that Justin is really into Chloe. Way too much Chloe fits in so easy with Justin. Coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ah, oh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. So lame, they don't have co-ed dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. Every photographer should have one blurry Bigfoot shot. Are toilet paper wars mandatory in the dorms? Even after Kate, Nobody here learned anything about bullying. That's why you're so hot. Because you... Ugh, jerks. At least nobody messed with the Kate portrait. I'm here with you, right? Zach or Logan? Who knows? Bro's got a bro. Oh, why, hello, Trevor and Dana. Apparently, Logan missed this poster. 
Evan. Of course. That's why no shits were given. <sighs> Evan rolls. Max, what are you doing? Hurry up! Who would steal cat picks? They have one more meeting left. Oh, you Bigfoots. Looks like one of the jocks did care about Kate. Poor Warren. This is the work of Nathan. He's so lucky I'm a pacifist. Hello, Warren's room. Hawking and him make a good team. This just makes me think of Kate. Ugh, skunkweed and video games. I sense Hayden is near. Oh, Kate sent me a text. I better read it now. Kate brings it. So, room 111 is the magic number. This can only be Nathan's room. Now I need to find Nathan's phone, or anything with clues. songs? Maybe this is the only soothing thing Nathan ever hears. That is so Chloe. Oh my god! Chloe! Nathan clearly casts his fetish down. That's so cute and ironic. I can't believe Nathan still has it around. That monochrome camera is brand new and costs about six grand. Bastard. I thought Victoria had the photo bling, but once again, the Prescott's rule. I don't think this prescription has helped, Nathan. I don't think one book can guide the Prescott's. Damn, Nathan. That's a nice shot. If only all your energy went into photography. It's so damn creepy, but... The guy has his own style. That must be the lamp Chloe broke when Nathan drugged her. Okay, there's that looks like a totally fun show. Even Nathan has a light side. Yes, I would be cool with having this high-tech projector. I'd cry too if I had him for a father and had to wear that suit. Holy shit.
That's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. A gift from... Oh man, that dickhead stole one of my selfies. Let's see what Nathan hides in here. Nathan is way into this party. Bad sign. Oh, bastard. Now I remember why I hate you. And why Kate will get justice. Oh, man. Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds awesome. And far away. Yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. This is strong stuff. Wow. <laughs> Kiss ass much, Principal Wells. These films all have a dark pattern. Nathan likes his tortured subjects way too much. Nathan Prescott, All-American Teen. That is so Chloe. What the hell are all those marks on the floor? Let's find out what you're hiding. Oh yes, little phone. You are mine now. Now I have Nathan's phone, so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes back. Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So, what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. Check this out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. What are you doing in my dorm? You're such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me, ho. <clears throat> Max, I got this. Get the fuck out of my face. You are so fucking dead! Uh, Get off me, bro! Uh, oh. uh. Warren, stop it! Come on! Oh, oh my head! Why are y'all looking at me like that, huh? You and you! You're all dead! Let's go, now! Plus? My dad is on his way. You're all fucked. He owns you! Even if Nathan definitely deserved a beating, we should try to be better than that. Damn. That was intense. Warren, uh, th thank you so much. For what? For headbutting Nathan Prescott. That was awesome. I don't know. I almost went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're not anything like him. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Not yet. Uh... So, maybe you better, um... Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. 
Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. You better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes, you are. Man, that guy is so fucking in love with you. I know. He really did give a serious beatdown to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Now let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Well, that asshole is gonna help us find Rachel. Or what? You'll actually shoot him? Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. Obviously I'm not counting on you. That's why I have a gun. And I might even save you someday. About time. I am so going to hit you. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. So let's play this cool, okay? Just talk to Frank so we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. Nope, I don't want to go there. The forest seemed quiet. No sign of life. Or deer. Aw, oh, poor little beach ball. Those beached whales look so awful, but still so majestic. It blows my mind that I was just here with Chloe in an alternate reality. Good thing there are no actual cops around to bust us. Frank doesn't need tinted windows when they're this dirty. There might not be any Pan Estates by Saturday. This is where my nightmare started. Can't see inside with this shit blocking the view. This is where Frank ponders his existence and gets drunk. Take the trash out sometime, dude. Oh, fresh meat. So Pompidou must be okay. 
Good doggy. Chloe looks ready to rumble. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? I... I don't have the money. Yet. Oh, really? Then why did you text me that you did? Because I wanted to tell you in person. Oh, I'm truly touched, Chloe. Now why are you losers really here? We just want to ask you some questions. You have some serious lady balls. <laughs> no. Jesus, okay. Okay. But I'm not getting you high. Frank, we're not here to get high. No, you don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? You already did. Ah, you fucking mental. I lost my keys, but I changed the lock. You better goddamn not be snooping around here. No, no, I'm not. I... I... Oh, Christ, I hate you, Blackwell shits. You expect everything for free. You're not getting any handouts from me. I work for a living, you understand? Yes, Frank. Without those Blackwell shits as customers, you wouldn't have any work at all. Dude, you're a drug dealer. You snobby whores. Don't come into my home and judge me. That's why I go to church. And you want something from me? How about a blade up the ass, huh? Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Get it, bitch? Get it? Step the fuck back now! <laughs> Pavadu! You fucking killed my dog! Oh my god! Oh no! I just shot a man and his dog. I killed Frank Bowers. You saved my life, Chloe. It, it, it was self-defense for both of us. Max? Frank is really dead. I know, but we can't stop now. We have to find that code. Fast. Before the co cops come. That's it. Let's get out of here. Sorry, Frank. I'm sorry. Jesus. Chloe actually killed Frank. She'll never forgive herself. Or forget this. And only I can change it.